Hello, gentle viewers. This is our guardian welcoming you back to Victoria 3. Uh, we haven't played this game since the release, basically, when we had our nice little Japan run. Today we're going to do something a bit different. I want to unify Italy. Um, we're going to go for economic dominance, and we're going to pick a country in Italy. Now, I decided not to... I actually did a bit of a test game with Piedmont Sardinia, because that's historically who dealt with Italy. And I have a problem with that. The name of that problem is the fucking Alps. Because of the way the Alps work in the game, it means that the most populous part of my country can't ever get better. So I think we're going to take... I know it's the easy route, as people have told me, but I think Two Sicilies is going to be more interesting. So that's going to be our objective. We're going to try to build an economic powerhouse with the Two Sicilies and eventually found the new nation of Italy. We start the game with five states. Uh, Sicily's really good at making sulfur, and Apulia has really good soil. Let's do it. All right. So immediately, we're going to mess with the outliner. The outliner, if you will. Give me my interest groups, please, and give me my states. Cool. Okay, we have a microscopic construction industry, but that's fine. Um, all right. We also have a lovely surplus. This is not something I have with Piedmont Sardinia. I'd love to see it. Okay. So I am not earning any money from the Ottomans. We'll cancel that trade route. Tax cap is low-ish. Paper is an issue. Let's immediately address that by building a paper mill. And because we want to eventually get that nice, powerful um, economy of scale bonus, let's go ahead and build that bad boy right in Campania where it already exists. Then we're going to go for some tech. And... I've noticed that we've had some issues with our tax cap. Why can't I grab postal savings? Oh, because I don't have stock exchange. Wait, really? Or banking. Interesting. Um, okay, we're actually a bit more backward. I was going to go for modern sewerage, but no. I think we need to do some lower tier tax to get us where we need to go. Mass communication gives me authority. I've got plenty of authority, though. Empiricism would improve my influence. Would improve access to education. <laughs> Banking would just flat earn us money, but I don't think that's the best choice. Our military is also lagging behind. Oh, dear. Uh, we're a fairly backward nation here, aren't we? I don't really care about industrial tech until we can get the rest of the country off its off of the the issue here, and I think what we need is need education, which I think means empiricism. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for empiricism. Okay, so working on paper. Uh, let's quickly talk about what we need to do in order to form Italy. We need seven more regions than we have right now. Four of those are held by Austria, which is obviously not great. Let's work on bringing in some northern Italian states. Because I want them in my customs union as quickly as possible. And 
and Modena and Luca. Cool. The Piedmont Sardinia is going to move into the last ones I go to. I kind of want to move my way up the peninsula, which means I probably also want the Papal States to be on my side. Okay. All right, let's start spending some authority both to earn some money and most importantly, if we're going to modernize our country at all, I need to reduce the power of the landowners. Because right now I literally can't pass any laws. I know it's less legitimacy, but let's go ahead and bring in the army and the Catholic Church. It is going to create some. It's going to create some radicals. I can't control that, but it will at least give me some options for laws to work on. The next thing I want to do is I want to. Oh, I can't suppress them because they're in the government, and I don't have a strong enough nation without them. Let's go ahead and beef up. What's our army like? What does our army care deeply about? Uh, he's a royalist, which means he wants a monarchy. Uh, Jingoist, one professional army. You don't want consumption taxation. Uh, okay, this is what I want. I want to weaken the police force. So I like him being there. What is your deal? You're imperious. Like, what is your opinion? Oh, you're a royalist. That's the only real thing that you've got here. Okay. All right. Now that we have this new government, I have some actual options here. Per capita is not a, uh, is a pretty solid tax base for me right now. Or interventionism, which is good. The thing is, the landowners hate the idea of the dedicated police force. Because our current law gives them a 10% boost of their political strength. Now, if we can make this happen, that'll end up being great. But it would also, there's a chance it could radicalize the landowners. So how else can I undercut them? I could make the Catholic Church more possible, powerful by going for religious schools. And we are probably going to need more education because we are lagging badly behind on innovation. So let's start with this. A nice, safe, popular thing for people to want. And I think this is good enough to get started and unpause things and see how our mighty nation develops. Oh, I did want to declare another interest. We're going to need a patron. And I think Austria is a pretty solid choice. So let's also send some people to Austria. I already am sending people to Austria. Great. Okay. We're making tons of money, which is amazing. I love that for us. Why are we building so slowly? Oh, we just don't have enough construction sector, right. Let's expand the construction center. Let's build uh, another... Do I have enough qualifications anywhere? I do not. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get some social mobility happening. And we're going to add it all across the nation.
If I unlock Romanticism and I have an Art Academy. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're making pretty good money right now. So I think once we can get the construction center up and run, work construction sector improved, I think it's going to be a big boost. There we go. Let's expand it in Campania to get that sweet, sweet um, economy of scale boost. Let's actually crank that up to the top. Because then I can't actually leverage my surplus because I can't build. A discipline and punish. Let's focus on the curriculum. It'll make the army slightly grumpy, but that's okay. What is propping you up so powerful? What is giving you all this clout? Oh, hereditary bureaucrats. That would be lovely if we could get rid of that. That's going to be challenging, though. Um, I'm going to bolster the industrialists and I'm going to bolster the intelligentsia. The king intervenes. The king's will be done. The thing is, I can't weaken the intelligentsia and the industrialists, so I'm going to go ahead and, and tell the king to just put a sock in it. Even if it might be a long term, a little bit less good. You can go away. Okay, we're now losing money because of the construction sector being expanded. That's to be expected. We have our religious schools, lovely. Okay, we're being asked to expand our iron mine in Calabria. I think we can make that happen. Let's get it up to, let's expand it by Okay, we have 100,000 peasants. We can definitely get this up to, let's say, level three. And once we've let this run for a little bit, I'm gonna take a quick peek and we're gonna see what is actually losing money or not earning enough money. Okay, working on that. Oh, how big do they have to get? Oh, it's not increased by one level. Okay, neat. Will you join my trade union? My customs union? You're not even close. What about Florence? Florence, what if I had an obligation? Oh, if I gave them an obligation to take a defensive pact. That doesn't make sense to me. Um... I mean, it would help us become closer, though. And Tuscany would be a very lovely feather in my cap. Oh, let's absolutely try to get Parma to like us, too. But will none of you consent? None of you will consent. I'm too far away. Okay. I think we should work on Piedmont Sardinia. Okay, we need more wood and fabric. This is not inex unexpected. And what are we building right now? We're building the iron mines that were requested. Let's expand our logging camps to get some more wood happening here. Um... 
I don't have a ton of wood, so let's expand what we've got just to get people working. But that is an important thing to consider. And we also need to get fabric, which means we need... Um, do textile mills? Yeah, textile mills make fabric, right? Oh yeah, this place is... No, you don't make fabric. What makes fabric? Cotton. Okay. Let's get some Italian cotton running, yo. Oh, um... I don't want to drop up the price of grain, uh, so we're going to leave this as is. I'm not going to mess with it. Um, am I not... Do I not have any cotton plantations? I don't. Uh, build me five levels of cotton in Sicily. There we go. This should help get the economy running in a much more efficient fashion. Um, okay, that takes 7.5 construction. Why am I not making more? Oh, I bet I haven't fully hired yet. No, I have. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I could make construction sector even bigger, but I don't want it to get out of hand. Up, line go up. Simulator broke. We're losing money, but not a huge amount of it. And as we get our base level industry set up, we should be able to start going to more profitable stuff. Is there anything we can, is there anything that we make a lot of already that we're not getting? Okay, the people want sulfur, right? Who doesn't want sulfur? Let's try to get the price of sulfur up. Nobody wants sulfur, okay, great. Um. I could try selling guns. Um, the Spanish want some guns. You can have some guns. There we go. That'll help some. I just looked up their reservoir around 1838. They've done a great job of optimizing for 1.2. Excellent. Now, steel mills right now are a pretty dumb idea. I don't really have the the low level stuff to make steel profitable. I don't have anything to make with steel. Um, okay, donation of knowledge. I love it. Make it happen. Um, oh, laws. Let's do some law things. Yeah, property women would piss everybody off. But you know what might be easier to get rid of as predatory bureaucrats? The thing is that the landowners hate it. I need something to weaken the landowners before I can get too deeply involved in anything else here. I could go for the corn laws, which basically liberalizes the landowners. I always found that kind of cheaty, but maybe. Let's use our excess authority to try and improve our tax situation. Uh, let's absolutely tax liquor and luxury clothes. There we go. Now we're making lots more money. It's amazing. We've got empiricism. That helps some. Wooden paper, expensive and dealing with fat. I think doing intensive agriculture, but I think just because it's almost done, let's go ahead and grab the lathe. 
I just don't see the point of building a steel mill right now. I wouldn't be able to make enough money with it. Trade unions really want poor laws. Standard living is mostly fine in this country. I don't really feel the need to press it. What we need is get people employed. That's going to be the big benefit. We've unlocked the lathe already. Excellent. Um, society. Let's grab mass communication for the authority boost. Secret societies, they pose no threat. Let's make the intelligentsia stronger. Can I do anything to get us out of autocracy? Like, even landed voting would be pretty tremendous. Is there any law I can impose that would just make the country better, even if it doesn't necessarily help with my longer term goals? A National Guard? Eh. Charity hospitals would make the Catholic Church more powerful. Let's try this. I'm going to need to start expanding bureaucracy because I also want to get this going. All right, so let's go ahead now. And how do we establish bureaucracy? We need a couple of, uh, how much is lost to negative taxation right now? 1.9K, because of tax waste. Let's go to Campania and let's expand the government administration. One, and let's also expand it in Sicily. One, two. That should help us both with our bureaucracy issues and with everything else. nice we all love authority here um i think banking would be helpful but i think stock exchange is so important for literally everything else that i think we have to do it Okay, I'm gonna try reorganizing the government here after I see if this law passes. Um, oh, Austria and Prussia are going at it. Uh, I hard pass. I don't want anything to do with that. Yes. Uh, Catholic Church, draw in people from the landowners. Uh, I would love the Pope to like me more. Does maybe making the Catholic Church too powerful? 
But I think we have to do it if we're ever going to make reforms and weaken the landowners. Okay, a coalition of the Catholic Church, armed forces, and intelligentsia might be good enough. But it isn't, though. Okay, if I kick you out and add in the intelligentsia, the petty bourgeoisie, the rural folk, and the industrialists, it would basically break the government. That's kind of what I was afraid of. But over time, we'll eventually start seeing the landowners get weaker and weaker. And then we can start making things to undercut them permanently. Uh, why am I losing my great power rank? Oh, because I don't have prestige. Oh, because the intelligentsia don't like me. Aren't I bolstering you? Um, what can I do to make the intelligentsia like me more? Oh, you don't like religious schools. Well, you're just going to have to deal with it. Because if we don't get smarter people, we're never going to be able to get what we're looking for. I need a bigger construction sector. I keep saying that, but it keeps being true. Like, it's taking us forever to get this stuff built. I bet if I go to iron, though, it's just gonna break everything. So, let's get this at the top of the queue. Let's get it in Sicily, too. There you go. Because we're just building stuff way too slowly, and it's going to make it that much harder for us to more properly industrialize. A rousing speech. Let's ease the path to reform. I don't know how I can gain prestige because the issue is the intelligentsia. As long as they hate me. I don't know how to fix this. I don't know how to make them like me. Because I know why they don't like me and I can't do anything about it. Interesting. Contested government. No, they would instantly destroy everything. Okay. Oh, that's why. Because my legitimacy isn't strong enough. Let's do the Catholic Church and the landowners. No, that's going to make so many radicals. Yeah, I I just have to kind of just ride this out for right now. I could build an art academy. All right, Parma, no. Okay. Modena, I will give you an obligation if you join my customs. And 
now we have charity hospitals. All right, this is great. Once you've built this construction sector, then we're gonna instantly jump down here and get these running because we need to fix this bureaucracy shortfall because it's gonna increase tax waste. Uh, sure thing, Parma. Now join my customs union. Let's start trying to make some money if that is a possible thing. I got loads of fabric. Clearly somebody is going to want some fab or not fabric. What is that? Silk. Yeah, people want Italian silk. Of course they do. There you go. Yeah, wood is still crazy expensive. All right, friends, let's start working on nationalism. Then we can hopefully start getting the Northern Italian nations start joining us uh, and strengthening our, our deals there. Will Tuscany join my customs union? No. But we're close. If I can just make my GDP bigger, then we'll be fine. Oh, we're only a minor power right now. Hmm. And you're building an arts academy. Okay. Neat. Um, some good is really intense. Is it wood? Is this all the price wood? Oh god, it's wood. Give me some wood, fuckers. Ottomans. Make it happen, please. Psychological warfare. Oh my. Um... Let's make the industrialists like me more. That seems good. Working on pause. We are presently working on government administration. And then we'll need to address the wood problem. That's right, friends. We need to get more wood. We need all of the wood. All right, let's close this. I don't need that right now. Okay, now things are starting to get a little bit better. They're starting to improve. We still have plenty of gold reserves. So as long as we can keep up our economics, I think we'll be fine. Make some logging camps, some cotton plantations, and then I also need paper mills. Uh, paper mills are also very important. One, uh, damn it, not what I wanted. It moved. One, two, three.
let's go to the diplomatic map though, see if there's anybody else I can get to join my customs union. Not at the moment, no. Oh, I could get you into my customs union. I just have to owe you an obligation. Let's do it. You won't, but that's fine. And then what else do I need for a Sorgamento? Because that's going to be huge. That's a decision. Oh, here it is. I need to be a major power again. So I definitely need to work on prestige. Um, which is fine. How can I get prestige? Oh, I have 109. So I need a better army. And I need to make more stuff. A duel... Let them fight. Okay, what are we making now that's got people grumpy? Oh, the cotton plantations. Yep. I sort of have nearly enough wood. I'm constantly searching for wood. Um, let's get more logging camps then. That's the only way to solve that problem. And I just need wood everywhere right now. There we go. Until I can start getting steel uh, iron frame construction, that's going to be tricky. For sure. What's with this yellow stuff here? What? Oh, damn it. I wanted appointed bureaucrats. Okay, something just changed. Dramatically. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll take it. I don't need to improve any of my production methods for that right now, but it is very cool that we're on that way. We need to get that tech spread to hook us up. I also probably could use a Ford extend our military and our Navy a bit. Um, that'll also help us with our prestige and our power projection. So what are we talking about there? Oh, hang on. Let's get mobile artillery. That'll help right then and there. I currently have 10 ships. I probably need more than 10. Let's expand each one of you by five. And that'll get us a total of 20 ships. Like, I'm sure we're gonna have to be a major naval power if we're gonna truly have an opportunity, but We'll see what happens. Wait, what? This is already a unification. Oh, cool. Oh, because I'm a major power again. Nice. I love it. I wish I could build, like, what would happen if I kicked out the landowners if I added the petty bourgeoisie? Or, sorry. We wouldn't have a government. That's the problem. Until we can weaken these stupid jerk landowners. And here's the thing, an illegitimate government can't pass any law.
I hate the landowners so much. Okay. Absolutely Tuscany. Now, will you join my customs union? You would. Okay, let's go on the market mode real quick. Wait, Luca, why are you being freaking weird? Here, I'll do an alliance with you so you'll like me better. Yeah, if you liked me a little bit more, I think you would join my customs union. What about you guys? Let's do a defensive pact. Oh god, we are hemorrhaging money. Oh, let's declare an interest in South Germany. Oh, I can have four. Let's do France, too. That seems good. Okay, something just changed. Okay, we've got banking. That'll make us some cash. That's nice. I like that. Let's try to throw in another tax, a nice consumption tax. Let's tax wine, I guess. That'll help us make these a little bit more money. A devout scandal. And having a secret, let's force him to step down. That guy seems like a jerk. I don't know how we can start undercutting the landowners. I think that's the biggest and most difficult part of what we're trying to achieve here. Okay. <gasps> yes. Do it. Giuseppe Garibaldi, let him lead? Uh, consider career in politics, actually. I think he'd be more useful there. Um, let's go ahead and unlock modern sewerage. Like, honestly, having the Papal States is pretty cool. Yes, Tuscany, done. Spain is now scared of me. And Modena. Parma. Isn't it romantic? Let's get some progress on realism and let's leave secret societies alone. Hey, Luca. Wait, who the hell is backing them? Oh, they're in Austria's customs union. That's not on. That's not on at all. All right. Um, I've unincorporated territory. What the hell? Oh, I see. That's going to cost us a lot of bureaucracy. But I have a lot of bureaucracy. I 
want you all to be part of Italy ASAP. There we go. I really got to get this money sorted out, though. Um, this is a big issue. I could just pause construction. But wood, iron, fabric, and tools. Oh, my gosh. My constructor sector. Yes, I'll go to wooden buildings, please. I can't afford iron buildings just yet. Don't be my rival, Great Britain. I want to be cool. I want us to be bros. Um, okay, the Catholic Church is more powerful now. Can I form a better government with them that doesn't include the landowners? I can't. I can kick the army out just to, for more issues there. What if I get legitimate government? I get more loyalists. Okay. All right. What are we building right now? We're building logging camps all over the place. not earning any money from that let's find a way to export sulfur though like surely somebody wants some italian sulfur no they don't uh do there we go we think we can export hardwood i'm up for that because i'm not using hardwood at the moment so if people want some Italian hardwood, they can have it. I got Sicilian hardwood right now. We are losing money. Um, how grumpy would people get if I cranked up taxes? Wait a minute. Is that what I hoped it was? No, it's not. I mean, it'd be about the same as I am now. I don't thought open up any laws, though. Interesting. Okay, maybe I've got some law choices I didn't realize that I had. I don't want to radicalize the landowners, though. That is not a thing that I want. I think this is reasonable. It's going to annoy the landowners, but we've got to do something to start working towards a better environment for this country. Um, okay. Building more wood will eventually drive down the price of wood. Let's also try to import some. Sure thing, Greeks. It's not very much, but it's something. I suppose. Okay, we just see more logging camps, need all the logging camps. And once the price of wood drops, then I can start diversifying much more effectively. We could find other ways to earn money. I approve of this plan. Oh, here, and improve relations with them and with them. The bureaucratic struggle. I will happily spend some bureaucracy to get this passed faster and start undercutting the landowners to a point where we can start doing what we want instead of being hemmed in.
Uh oh. What happened? Why do we keep something just spiked in price? Oh, we're not earning money from hardwood anymore. That's kind of gross. I wish it was easier to figure out um, what would earn me money. How about some fabric? Sure. I'd probably start declaring interests in other places so I can start, oh, hang on. Oh no. I was afraid this would eventually happen, but it's kind of a bummer it's happening now. I don't have, oh, what does this do? Let them celebrate. Um, I kind of don't want to start messing around with railroads yet. So can I expand the ports instead? Campania, can you have a port? You can. Let's expand your port. Tuscany, I think you can also have a port, but you're already maxed out. You need a railroad. And I can't build those yet, so I think we're going to have to work on that in the very near future. Oh my god. Really, game? Really? Fine. Okay, logging camps are coming online. That's going to drive down the price of wood, and that's going to make us a lot more effective. And then we'll have our naval bases, which will help with power projection, which will be very good. Oh yeah, getting the price of wood down is really having a giant impact in our economy. All right, I need to start eventually building trains. Oh, hang on, shipyards. Um, let's do some, let's just leave it as is. I'm not gonna mess with that. I don't have enough glass, so it will make us more money. Let's do it. The kings will be done. And definitely I want filing cabinets too. Okay, neat. Um, I don't have engines. I think we have to start building a motor industry. Um, let's start in Sicily. There we go. Every time we, we're just sucking up all this wood that's getting built, which is great, uh, but it is a bit disappointing. That's taking us so long to keep the economics working. I'm going to edit the outliner and I'm going to take out the state tracking tool because I can find that stuff out from other places pretty easily. I like this market overview though. That's very helpful to me. So we're wood, liquor, and furniture are expensive. Fabric services and sulfur are very cheap. Red tape. Fine. Did you stop game? Okay, so knowing that liquor and furniture is expensive means once I can get plenty of wood, I can start making furniture factories and that'll be very, very lucrative. All right, I'm gonna pause that for a second. I'm gonna scrap these naval bases for right now. 
I think this other stuff here is much more important. Oh, this was being built before. I am fine with this. Okay. Do I want central banking or central archives more? Let's get postal savings. Um, this will help increase the size of our investment pool and that'll help us build more cool stuff. Okay, good, 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 good. I'd love to end this episode by us getting a point of bureaucrats starting to undercut the landowners in a very significant way. That would be pretty glorious. Okay, now we're earning some real cash. Wood is still considered expensive. I think that's hilarious. Like, no matter how much we're making, it's still too expensive. All right. Um, do I need even more logging camps? Um, I don't have fertilizer, so that would basically tank my industry. This would actually make us fertilizer, though. Let's do that. Let's get some cow poop. And let's improve that. I need the price of, of regular wood to be nice and strong. I don't want clippers to spike. All right, where can I put more logging camps? Tuscany. There we go, so many logging camps. The country of the future country of Italy will be completely god damn it, really? Would you stop and just like happen, please? Ooh. A boots education sounds lovely, but unfortunately I can't afford that right now because of these stupid events that are crushing us. Um Okay, now we're making a good number of cash. I think wood is no longer considered expensive. So now these all fail for the best of reasons. And then I can start working on other things that might actually earn us more money. Okay, we definitely want motor industries running and I think we're gonna start working on getting iron and steel production up. A mining accident is a small price to pay. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's so possible that a debate could increase our chances, so I'm not going to cancel it yet, but holy shit, this law just does not want to get passed. All right, we've got loads of money now. Let's start stepping up our production of... Um, make us more groceries. It would just cost us some sugar. We'll do it. Uh, textile mills. I don't have dyes, so that's a really bad idea.
Okay, we need engines before we can do anything else. Engines, I think, are, are becoming critical. And engines are going to cost me... What do I need to make these? Good detail screen. I wish you would tell me what is involved in the production of engines, but I won't actually get to know that yet. Okay. Right. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to cancel it because we're never going to pass this. No, mm. like I know technically our success chance is a negative, but it actually can't be negative. And the fact is, we need to start undercutting the landowners in a very serious way. Like that has to happen. That is not optional, it is mandatory. And so we need some kind of event to help us out here to get us to a point where it actually might someday get passed. But my friends, I think this is a great time to end this episode. I hope you're enjoying. I know it's been kind of slow. It hasn't been super action-packed. Um, but we have made a lot of progress. Uh, which is wonderful news. Um, we still need to get Luca and start getting Piedmont on board. And we're actually going to do something about Austria. So maybe we start buttering up the Prussians. That is an option. Because... Unless somebody goes after Austria, we don't have any way to get the other pieces of Italy that we really need. Let's make Russia like us a bit more, too. Um, you're still nowhere near coming to my customs union. But we're getting there. As long as my GDP keeps... Oh! You want... If I can trade with you more... Um, your price of silk is actually what is your most expensive goods you need liquor or tools There we go. Let's get that scaled up a bit. But that's going to be it for today's episode. Um, we're going to keep this series running uh, for Wednesdays for a bit. Um, so please be on the lookout for more episodes of this. Do let me know in the comments uh, any wisdom or tips you have. Our economy is pretty strong, which is great news. We're going to have to do something eventually to break up Austria, whether that's supporting Russia and Prussia against them or something else. We also have the issue of Luca. The problem is that Luca is in the Austrian market. And so there's no way until Austria is beaten down a bit that they're going to join us. Um, let's get a trade agreement with Piedmont Sardinia and see if that gets us any closer to a customs union. That's going to be for this episode. I hope you all are enjoying this, the series so far. Until next time, this has been Guardian. Thank you for watching, and I bid you good day.